Hello everyone. So here we are with another very interesting video so that you can make your flipped classroom fun. Today we learn how to make animated videos related to your material and share it with your students. For type on your browser render forest. This page would open renderforest.com. Click on this. If you are using it for the first time, you need to sign up. But I already have an account in this. So I'll click on sign in. Now you need to put your email ID and password and get started to make amazing videos here. In the render forest, we have other options also like we can make a logo. We can also build a very interesting website. But today's session is about how to create a video. Now in the video, we have various options. As you can see here, we have 3D explainer toolkit. We have this explainer video toolkit. We have this whiteboard animation toolkit. And if we scroll down, we have various other options available with us. We have this explainer world toolkit too. So we'll see all of them one by one. First, let us start with this whiteboard animation. So click on whiteboard animation and go to create now. Now, as soon as I click on this, this box would open. I'll say no thanks because I am already guiding you how to make the video. You can add a scene or you can load a preset also. Now load a preset means that there are certain pre-made videos here and you can choose from them. But this is only available in the subscribed version. So let us go to add scene. <clears throat> now, when I go to add scene, these are the various options that I have. You can see these are the various options. Right? I can click on any of them. Let us click on this. And I'll have to click on insert. Now as soon as I click on insert, here is the option. I need to type my text here. Right, Eureka, because he has got an idea. You can also change the font size, but let us see. This font size is applicable only in the subscribe plans. So we'll have to go with the default option. Right. So I'll save and close. Now, as soon as I save and close, I get two additional options here. I can change the text position. Like if I want that the person should be standing here and the text should be here, then we can just open the text position. Right now, the text is on the right. I can change the position. So I have done text on the left. If you don't like this, then you can also choose similar scenes. We can click on matching scenes. Now, when I go to matching scenes, this render forest will tell me if there are any similar scenes here. Like so you can see that these are the three similar scenes. You can choose any one of them, but I think I'll go with this. Now, here is your video. So the more number of uh, slides you'll make, they'll keep on coming here. If you want to add another slide, you have to click on the plus sign. So when I click on plus sign, again, you have these options, right? You can also choose it from this left side. If I want to have any healthcare background animations, see, we can also have this. I'll click on this and I'll go to insert. Again, I can write my text here. I'm here for dental checkup, right? So I have clicked on this and I'll press enter. So this is the option. I'll again click on plus and I can choose any of these. All right. Or I can go down and I can choose any of the options that I want. Let me. Uh, choose this one and go to insert she is my doctor 
right so i again go to save and close i can also go and change the style now right now what is happening is somebody is drawing this so i can change it to cut paper and it will be automatically changed you can see here that saving changes are coming and the changes have been saved going to the font we cannot change that we can also change the color right so the main color is blue we can change it let us try just remember that it was blue and i have changed it to pinkish and it is coming confirm here preview colors on all scenes so it will show me how this color would look on all my slides it will take a little bit time so you can see that the color has changed you can also insert another music there is already a, a music by default here you can change <laughs> preview in preview you have to click on free preview now it will take some time and if you click this email notification then whenever this uh, preview is prepared you will also get a notification via the email that your render forest video is ready so it is export all right so it's 100% finished and it is applying the audio and my video would be soon here all right so let us play this let us see the let me show you few videos that i have made using render forest and give you an idea as to how the videos can be made here so let us see how we can make such type of the videos for that we need to again go to create video and i'll go to this 3d explainer toolkit this is another thing that we'll see and the rest you can learn by yourself because the steps are the same in all the options that we have in the free templates one more thing that i would like to add on here is that uh, we can make the videos for free for up to 1 minute using render forest because for uh, larger videos you need to take the subscription but there is no issue i guess because uh, we have already learned about the open shot editor and you can just make different videos and you can merge those videos using using any of the video editors now let us start with this you can cho choose any of the options from here <laughs> right so i'll just insert this hello all i'll click on save and close again you have the text position you can have it on the left right or the text can be wherever it is so the changes have been saved i'll go to plus and i'll go to family animations so let us insert this and want to enjoy okay so as soon as i save and close you can see the various options that the render forest provides you related to the changing of the placement of the text all right so here the text would be here only because it is not providing us with any of the uh, positions to change the text you can go to food and beverages there are various options that you can choose 
right so we go to insert sorry it's my birthday today so i'll just save and close this and here you can change the text position but i don't want to do that so i'll just simply go with this the last interesting thing that i want to show is you can have this you can go on this stock footage so when you go on this stock footage you can choose any of the options i'll go to nature and you can have a video in the slide as you saw in my video right so this is how it will appear this is how it will appear you can change this okay i don't if you don't want the pine forest you can change it you can upload any video that you have but it should be less than uh, one minute or you can take it from the media library stock footage or you can remove this you can also edit it so let us go ahead with this and the scene duration is of 31 seconds so the video that you are taking from your uh, device that shouldn't be more than 31 seconds now let us go to the preview and in the free version we have a watermark so if you want that there shouldn't be any watermark of render forest then you will have to take the subscribed version the render forest videos take little bit of time because these are heavy files but the results are worth waiting and the students would definitely enjoy if they are shared any material via this animated videos there are various other options that you can try there is a good animation uh, software or app that you can use which is plotagon but it is quite heavy and if you are able to download it in your devices then it is really a very interesting idea Alright, so our video is finished and it is just applying the audio and we'll soon get the preview. So let us see how it looks. So this pine forest is for 31 seconds if you want your students to see any material related to your subject you can upload your video from your device and that would be played here which is a very interesting idea so i hope you liked this journey of learning via the render forest and you will apply it in your teaching learning process thank you so much